The UN Refugee Agency says about 18,000 Somalis repatriated from Kenya's Dadaab refugee camp this year have returned to the Somali port town of Kismayo, but many find it hard to pick up the pieces and to return to their old lives. Mohamed Yusuf reports from Kismayo. This woman, talking with her mother, returned to Somalia after spending years living at the Dadaab refugee camp in Kenya. Life hasn't been easy because they don't have a home of their own. I spent two days and two nights in the Kismayo Transit Center. I left the center and moved to the city, to a relative's house. We don't have a home here. I still live with relatives. More than 18,000 former residents of Dadaab have come back to Kismayo since Kenya indicated last year it will close the camp, which used to house more than 300,000 Somali refugees. Most of the returnees have ended up in camps like this one, with no essential services. Ibrahim Hassan, a returnee and a father of nine, bought land in Kismayo to start a new life, but it turned out the person he bought it from was not the genuine owner. Authorities evicted him after he built a house. I was compensated with another piece of land. It's disheartening for a refugee and a poor man like me to be evicted from his original home. It's still a difficult move. Authorities in the Jubalan region have refused to accept more returnees. Mohamed Noor, the vice chairman of Jubalan's refugee and IDP's agency, says life has been hard for the returnees. <laughs> In Somalia, the basic services are not there. Most of the returnees are living with the IDPs. Some cannot pay their rent. Some are living with their relatives as they try to adapt here. These people need assistance. This week, the Kenyan government postponed the closure of the Dadaab camp for six months, saying it will give time for the situation in Somalia to improve before more refugees are sent home. Mohamed Yusuf for VOA News, Kismayo, Somalia.